Welcome to this new video. This is part two of a, a series of three. In the first video I showed you how to make the photo transfer skin, acrylic skin. In the video of today I'm going to show you how to use the skin on a crackled canvas. But as always I'm going to start with the materials that I use. For the cracks I use the Easy Tree Reflex with the gesso. In this video I'm not going to show you the crack technique because I have a lot of videos. I will link them below. For the texture I use some Maya's uh, Memories Vintage Powder together with the gesso. It is a white, soft feeling uh, powder, easy to use. For bringing on the texture I use a uh, sponge uh, from Nature. You can use your fingers also, but this is more easy. And for coloring I'm going to use my favorite <laughs> Nouveau Sparkle Spray and from a Powertex the pigment powders and some gold wax. And I have some black bister to fill on some cracks on the image. For decoration I have a mold and some air dry clay. I put my apron on and we begin with the painting. In part one you have seen me make this uh, skin, this acrylic skin. And um, now I'm going to use it for uh, this painting. I have made some cracks. I have a lot of videos where I show you how I make my crackle paste. So I will link them below this video. I'm going to use the Easy Coat Mats as a trend, as an, uh, a decoupage glue. It's always better to glue on both sides, so on the back of this image and on my painting. Use your hands to make sure the image is glued down well to the canvas and then I go with my brush. There is no glue on anymore because that is not necessary uh, to make sure it will stick to the canvas very well. See how beautiful the cracks shines through the image. There is some white space on the on the image that I haven't glued down, so I'm now cutting it away. Make sure the edges of your image also have uh, glued well to your uh, to your canvas. I want some little cracks on her forehead, 
So I'm using the Deco Art um, Transparent Crackle Paint and I'm spreading it with my fingers. This gives a, a very small uh, crack. With the gesso, uh, I'm going to soften the edges of the image. I'm going to make sure the image will be one with my background. While I'm painting, always loving to use my fingers. Later I'm going to give this background some extra texture with the um, vintage powder from uh, Maya's uh, Memories. Just let the uh, powder fall into the wet uh, gesso and tap with your fingers to make sure it uh, will stick on the canvas. For every painting uh, the same layer upon layer, it is so more interesting to use layers in your painting. You can, uh, when it's dry, also rub uh, with your fingers on the, on the texture and you get a lovely shine, soft shine uh, result of texture. Don't go for a straight line, just you may go with the uh, gesso and the texture uh, over your image. Don't be afraid of it because when you're not uh, satisfied with it, you can use a baby wipe to uh, wipe it away. When your texture and your gesso is not dry yet, you can always um, take it away with a baby wipe. That's because you're working over an acrylic uh, skin. I want something more with the face, so I'm going to use some uh, molds. This is a cake mold uh, using uh, for using <laughs> to bake uh, cakes. And um, well, I love the leaves, always um, easy to use. And here I have just some cheap clay and filling the leaves with the clay. I don't let the clay harden in the mold because when the clay is still soft I can shape the leaves any way I want. The next day I have a beautiful a little crack on the, on the forehead. And my leaves also are ready to use. I've shaped them in the form I want and I've painted uh, already some. But first uh, an extra layer on my texture uh, with the vintage powder and the gesso. And this time I'm going to use the natural sponge. Push the powder into the gesso. I'm going to give the cracks some uh, color to uh, stand them, uh, to make them stand more out. 
I start with the Colorex Ivory Black, but that turns out too blue for me for this painting. <laughs> so I'm gonna use um, the Bister. Here you see me spray the Bister on, that's the Bister Black from Powertex. And because it's a little crack and it's um, transparent and acrylic, <laughs> so I can easily wipe away um, the bister and in the cracks uh, it will uh, stay black. Some of the leaves I paint black and then use the green colors and some of the uh, leaves I uh, bring on the green colors right away. So I get some um, color value on the leaves, some darker value and some lighter value. I use some Colorex and some Power Effect from, uh, from Powertex, the pigment powders. And of course the Nouveau Sparkle Spray. They work very well together. They give a blue, beautiful <laughs> result in your color. If you like uh, this video and uh, learned something maybe, will you please um, subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment that will make me grow my YouTube channel. So I really appreciate if you will do this for me. Thank you very much. And here I have a black um, leaf where I use the same colors on. So you get a different kind of value, of color value. Uh, if, if you do it uh, this way. I've made a composition of the leaves and I'm gonna stick them, glue them together and therefore I use the structure paste eyes effect from um, Viva Decor and I've noticed that this is a very um, good to use as a, as a glue. For the edges I use some uh, gold wax from Pebeo. I use this also for uh, filling the cracks in combination with, uh, with the black bister. In part 3 of this video series I will um, use the same image as transfer skin but then on a soft background just like um, a squeezy, something you can squeeze in. So that turns out a very special background for an image transfer skin. But that shows also the possibilities of using uh, a skin 
in your mixed media art. I will also link uh, part one of this video below this video <laughs> and there I show you how I make the, the image transfer on a skin. And here you have a close up again of the beautiful cracks on the image and the beautiful texture with uh, Maya's memories.